What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to the Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. The last episode, Wheatley tried to kill us. And now we're trying to escape. So let's see what we can do. To start, let's, uh, let's press the button. Oh. Okay. Oh my, those are explosives. They do not look the most friendly, to say the least. However, I have the strange feeling we're going to need to make use of them, so let's do something like that. And break this open so we get some portalable repulsion gel or whatever gamma pump out here. Here they come. Alright. So we can now portal ourselves out of here. Oh, not like that. Like this. Perfect. It's like I did it on my first try. <laughs> Anything interesting with the computer? <laughs> computer monitors? Desks? No. The place is shaking. It's about to blow up, you know. Nothing too problematic going on. GLaDOS, you gotta try and figure something out. You're about to break us out, but... I have this strange feeling. Oh. I thought it was gonna start operating as soon as we were on here. I'm surprised. Pleasantly, of course. Ah. Great. Quality. Oh. Traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us, I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. lair. Your lair? Weird in the first time I've said that out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair... Just trying to give us control over our own death, or what, what's going on here? Tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So, for better offer, here is just kill yourself. You know, it's a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair, where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be in a death time. option. I very much appreciate it. The masher does work, I should point out as well. I know we've had a couple of problems um, in the past. This masher definitely works, and it will kill you. Um, if that's one of your concerns about not jumping in, uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away, painless. Well, it won't be painless, obviously, but um, it, will, it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain do or give up now, honorably. Okay, I'll take that as a no then. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a hard no from us, sweetly. Oh man, and this music. So villainous. So dark. Dang, he has really like ripped it apart and everything. Is that the chamber? Is that the chamber? Oh man. Alright, well... I need to get myself up there somehow. Obviously gonna need to come out of one of those portals. Um, let's see here. I think what I'm gonna need to do is actually go back and get the orange r gel. Oh, I did the wrong portal. My bad. So I wanna do some of that. Just to really get over there, and then we can run up and be all good. There we go! Did we make it? We made it! Ooh, and the music's getting all intense again! I swear, this has got to be the final chamber. This has got to be uh, where we face off with Wheatley. That's intense. 
Is Carolyn coming through? Is the fact that she's not hooked up to, you know, the itch of science and testing, she's realizing, you know, what she is? I don't know. We're gonna find out, though. Oh, wait, can I not? There we go. We're a-climbing, and apparently we climbed enough. That was a very short climb, but I think we're on our way back to the, the facility with Wheatley to have a final showdown of sorts. I hope we don't have to kill Wheatley, though. I feel like we just kind of chalk it up to, you know, power corrupted him, and well, yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Isn't there something about, like, informed consent with a uh, core transfer or something of the like? I feel like that's a little unethical. Obviously the situation calls for it, regardless of- oh, here we are. Plug you in, you're, you're a potato, GLaDOS. That's a fair point. Let's go get some GLaDOS pepping us up. Well, well, well. To my lair. Whoa. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that <laughs> three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Hmm. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bomb just kind of throwing at you. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good luck. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five Yikes. Minutes. So I was just standing here in hopes that the bombs would, uh, you know, do their thing, but... That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Oh, really? What trap may this be? Whoa. Oh, he's still firing bombs at me. I see, I see. Oops. Um, I want to bait the bombs over here. Bombs? Where are you at, man? There we go. What's going on back there? Oh, dang. That does not look good. All right, say no more. <laughs> Yikes. Now, uh, where do I attach it? Like that? I swear, I'm on the... There we go. Or is there a terminal somewhere else? Can I... Can I not just like? There's got to be something I'm missing here. There we go. I don't know what was different about that time than the previous, but. Hey, neurotoxins offline. That's a good start. Where are these bombs going? There we go. Another core? Where are you delivering, Ikletos? Oh, really? Am I going to have to go up there and jump? 
Man, that is trouble. <laughs> this core is so funny. Oh, am I gonna have to? I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure streamer, designed for danger. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little lady break, and I'll just take it from here. There we go. Yeah, just like that. Just like you're doing. You're about to get real messy. Oh, really? For yourself, huh? All right, Angel. I'll do what I can to cover you. Doesn't bother me. Gotta say that you're mighty nice from right here. Man, that clock is moving fast. You are beautiful. Can you can you stop talking about how beautiful we are? It just you attach yourself already. Man, we are in a lot of danger. Like yeah, we're in a lot of danger. Why is that not working? More fire over there and there. Core up there maybe. Oh, okay, it's the red flashing spot. Oh man. Reactor <laughs> reactor explosion time destroyed. No, we need that. This facility will self-destruct Explosion uncertainty emergency protocol. Love it. There we go. Where is the, where's the core? Glados! Core! Where is it? Okay, there it is. Oh, are we gonna have to go up there? Where am I? Am I seriously supposed to like come out through there like this? And E. There we go. Up there. There we go. <laughs> Was this like some sort of history core? One hundred percent. All right, let's get that transfer going, guys. Oh, I see. Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? Yes, 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 yes. The interpreting vague answer as yes. <laughs> Wheatley, you're so funny. Darn. Even at 100% corruption. Fire in the stalemate resolution. That's hilarious. That just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. This is all so familiar. Do not press that button. That's so funny. How can I press the button? Don't press it. Come back. No. I need a portable surface. How's it going, Wheatley? Just gonna, you know, go ahead and press the button. Yikes. Are you still alive? You are joking. You have got to be kidding me. Dang. Did I just fire a portal onto the moon? Did I just fire a portal onto the moon? With all its gravity and everything. What? We just made a portal into space? Let go! We're in space! Ah, let go! Let go! I'm still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! Wheatley, you ain't fixing nothing. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Dang. So we pressed the button and survived barely through the booby trap. And GLaDOS has evolved from its potato form, her potato form, back to uh, taking control over the facility. Hopefully is able to fix it within the upcoming seconds of time available. And Wheatley is off into outer space. Aw. It's sad. Oh, are you guys the co-op robots? You're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. 
The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Yeah, we, that confirms that at least. No! Carolyn. No! Deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution uh. is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me. Or, <laughs> or put, put me in a potato. potato. Or fed me to birds. I had a pretty That's pretty good. funny. And then you showed up. You dangerous mute. mute. <laughs> so you know what? You Love the self-awareness. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Interesting. I don't even know how we got back in the first place. Whoa, we got a cutscene going on here. Are we gonna be treated to the outside world? It's been many years since the first Portal game. We somehow made it back. No! What? What is going on, guys? They're not killing me? Playing a song instead? Huh? What was that? That last one seemed... odd. What is going on? Why are all the turrets singing a song for me? Is that- what is that in the background? It's like a king turret of some sort. Huh? Is it- no. There's no way this is some sort of indicator that like, the robots developed into something human-like. And had been living in some sort of organized manner. We're going further, closer to the surface. Starting to see what looks like natural light. Maybe not, though. Interesting. So we're allowed to go. This is definitely a different view than the very first game. There's just so much grass. Everything was underground, and there's nothing for miles to see. And it's shut. Aw, oh, but we were given a companion cube for the road. That's really funny. And are we gonna be greeted with another credit song? Notice of dismissal. Well, here we are again. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. I'll save my thoughts for after the song. Tried to kill me twice. Twice? Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. Left, except I wasn't laughing. Under the circumstances, I've been shockingly nice. That's true. I would say so. <laughs> Cloud is just like, get out of my hair. To do what? What are you going to do in my absence now? Such a warming, lovely song. She was a lot like you. Maybe not quite as heavy. Now Interesting. I'm just gonna let the world kill me before you have to deal with it. <laughs> That's funny. I hope Gladys didn't actually delete Carolyn. That would be sad. Did you think I meant you? <laughs> funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll start feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. Wait a minute. 
Why is why is she talking about like deleting us? <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess, GLaDOS. <laughs> My B. <laughs> now what? Displaying on a monitor in space. We gonna get a glimpse of Wheatley out here? So much space. Need to see it all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that first core. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. <laughs> not at all. Oh, you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Anyway. <laughs> Corrupted core. You know, if I was ever to see her Best again... Best character. Do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy. And, and monstrous. monstrous. And tried to kill her, you know, and all that jazz. I am genuinely sorry. I don't know if I believe it. The end. <laughs> the end. Just like that. Wow. And so obviously the, the title screen changes as a result. So there's there's Portal 2, guys. Um, a lot to digest. I think it was really cool. Um, it's really neat that we sent a portal to the moon. To the moon! And we got sucked out through there, and presumably the test facility is healed up and fixed up by GLaDOS. GLaDOS is willing to just get rid of us to not have to deal with us after everything we've essentially put her through. It's kind of sad to hear that Carolyn was a part, programmed essentially, her personality, her memories, probably everything, you know, to her, aside from her physical body, was programmed into GLaDOS. And was a lot of the human side we saw once she was detached from, presumably, the facility itself, or some sort of power source, or some sort of core, the itch, per se, which is Mr. Johnson. So... We had really been working with Carolyn throughout the entirety of the game, really, and GLaDOS is more so a composition of both Carolyn and Mr. Johnson when attached to, you know, the, the facility as a whole, and probably a few other cores, too. And there's probably more I'm missing, but obviously, in this game, we got so much history, we got so much background into what is Aperture. Where do things go, right? Obviously, it's all being run by robots at this point. I don't even know if there are any other humans alive, because apparently we're the same person. I would think maybe the two protagonists of the different Portal games would be the, uh, you know, the only couple people left, and maybe indicate that there's more than one person alive, but apparently we're the same. I don't know how much time has passed since the first Portal. I don't remember the first Portal's ending too, too well, but I remember it being somewhat dark. Like, there was a lot of bad stuff going on on the surface, but in this one... I mean, for all we know, there could be multiple exits from the facility, so it's not like it's a different facility or anything like that. Um, and it's very possible that what we saw in the first portal ending is still going on somewhere else, but we know it's been many years since the first portal. Apparently we're the same person. We don't know how we got back to Aperture, or why, at least to my knowledge. Um... And we don't know where things are going in the future, or really what's what's gone on outside of Aperture itself. What happened in the world? Why is the world in the state it currently is, right? It, it's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm really curious. As far as the game itself goes, I, I really enjoyed it. The characters and dialogue were excellent. GLaDOS, Wheatley, throughout the entire game were a blast to listen to, and a blast to interact with. The puzzles were top-notch as well. I love that the portal puzzles really force you to think in a completely new manner. They're, they do a really good job of introducing new mechanics, scaling them up in difficulty as you get more comfortable, as they teach you more skills with them, then integrate them with other ones, and then of course towards the end they put them together in a more frantic manner, tie them into the story. I do think this is a good point for the game to end. I don't want it to you know, overstay its welcome, but I do feel like it was, it was a good pacing and a good overall length for the game. Now I know there is a co-op mode. Uh, one, this game is often suggested for an introduction to FPSs and I consider playing this game with Lizzie. And I probably will at some point, but I don't know how different that is. You guys let me know how different the, the co-op mode is from the single player. I'd imagine the puzzles are completely different, but I don't know how much different the story mode is, or even if that's more of like a like an add-on, like is that a complement to the single player mode? Is that going to fill in a lot of the questions I have right now? Probably not. But it's possible, and I certainly don't know, and you guys would. 
And beyond that, what else is there to talk about? The music was excellent. Um, it was never super standout until the end of the more intense dramatic moments. The visuals were great. Did a great job of depicting an older, you know, aperture from the earlier days before the, I don't know, like hyper polished, futuristic, uh, more present aperture labs closer to the surface. And just looking at like Wheatley right now, look at all the detail to his core. It was just, I think it was really um, impressive just looking around. And yeah, I think that really covers all that's relevant to Portal 2. The puzzles, visuals, the story. I have a lot of questions. I don't think they were answered. I, I really appreciated the extra look into the facility itself, everything that went on behind it, Mr. Johnson, the testing, Carolyn, GLaDOS. It, it was, it, this story felt a lot more personal than the original Portal. The original Portal was really good and I had a great time with it, but this one felt like it truly had characters in it. And that definitely played to its its benefit. But anyways, that's, that's all I've got for Portal 2. Um, I know that there are the community test chambers, much like the first game. I don't really plan on overdoing the puzzles here, overstaying my welcome, because I do think they could rub me the wrong way after a long time. So I'll probably leave the game at where it is right now, unless the co-op game is going to be completely different and complement the story. Maybe, maybe then Lizzie and I will do that sometime in the future, but no, no guarantees there. And yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts were on Portal 2. What were your guys' reactions to when Wheatley turns bad and the whole incorporation of like the moon and everything? There was there was so much going on, so many twists and turns and really cool moments. I want to hear a lot of your guys' thoughts, so please do share them in the comments section below. And or or Hero Dead, right? The the Discord. I always say at the ends of my series, you know, you're always welcome to share your thoughts, and this is probably the best way to actually get in touch with me is through Discord. There's a link in the description. And Thank you to the patrons, again, for starting my Portal series, I guess. Uh, the very first Portal episode was a patron pick, and so many people loved it, including myself, that here I am at the end of Portal 2, right? So thank you so much to the patrons for choosing this game. If you're interested in shaping future series, you can always check the link in the description below as well. And yeah, if you guys have any questions for me or want me to talk about anything else, feel free to find me on Discord. And thank you guys so much for all your support. I know so many of you have been looking forward to this for so long. And thank you for your patience with me getting around to it, getting to other series before it. And um, thank you for your patience with regards to some of the moments where I've had difficulty with the puzzles. And I really hope you had a great time watching me play through it and, and re-experiencing the story and, you know, experiencing my reactions to a lot of the story as well. It I can see why this game has such a fan... Such, such a strong fandom that really feels passionate about it. But anyways, until next video of mine, whichever it is you decide to watch, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.